your people, O Lord. <laughs> Gather your people, O Lord. One breath, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O table of Christ, brothers and sisters, each of us call to walk in your love. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our community mass here at St. Bernadette. Today we celebrate Wednesday of the 20, 22nd week of ordinary time. Boys and girls, I know at fellowship, I just said it, today was the feast of St. Peter Claver, and I, I uh, was working on the bulletin for next week. That's next Wednesday, so that's not today at all. But we are going to celebrate a particular mass of um, a votive mass today for the progress of peoples um, in that spirit of trying to solve many of the social problems problems that we have in our world today, uh, that we might come together as one. Our Mass today is offered for the repose of the soul of Gladys Martinez. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call all sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave one origin to all peoples and willed to gather from them one family for yourself, fill our hearts with the fire of your love and kindle in us a desire for the just advancement of our neighbor, that through the good things which you richly bestow upon all, each human person may be brought to perfection, every division may be removed, and equity and justice may be established in human society. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the, uni <clears throat> in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers, you are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all humanity. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, They tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So like I said at the beginning of Mass, I I messed up. I was planning the week for next week already thinking this was the Feast of St. Peter Claver. So today is a special votive mass we're doing for the progress of peoples. And the reason I'm doing this is because our world is so divided today, isn't it? On so many things, on almost every, every issue you can think of, we find ourselves divided. 
And there's a very special message from St. Paul in his, in his letter to the people of Corinth where he talks about how we shouldn't, we shouldn't form factions, right? We're still one people. Um, I, there's a prayer that I've been writing lately into the Mass. I think it will do, we'll do it again here today, but it's where we need to be the example of the community where nobody is called a minority. There should be no minority in our mind. There's no such thing because we're one community and all of us are equal. So St. Paul says, well, you might have heard a, a gospel preacher named Apollos or maybe me, Paul. It doesn't mean you belong to the church of Paul or the church of Apollos. We belong to the church of Jesus, right? But we sometimes forget and we, we make distinctions. We want to feel special maybe or we want to feel different, but that's not what God wants us to do. He doesn't want us to have that kind of attitude. He wants us to reach out to everybody in love. And it's so that in the gospel today, when Jesus goes, this is, by the way, the beginning of his public ministry, the very beginning, because just in the reading before this, he, he goes to the synagogue, he proclaims the, the prophet Isaiah, and then he says to the people, he says, today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. That means J Jesus says, I am the one Isaiah is talking about. And then he goes to Capernaum, the first thing he does is they go to Simon Peter's house and his mother has a very serious fever. Now remember, this is a world where they didn't have medicine. So if you had a bad fever, it was bad news. And so he goes immediately to, to Peter's mother and he prays over her and she, the fever leaves her and then she gets up and immediately serves dinner. Isn't that amazing? The, this, the people who study scripture always say that she is symbolic of the people of Israel. The first thing he does he goes to the mother, the people of Israel, and heals them, and then they become people of service. But because of all the healings that he does, this is the first time, so people have not seen this before, this miracles. Um, he, he goes and heals all the people who were sick there in Capernaum, and then he kind of escapes, because it probably was a busy first day of work, right? <laughs> There's a lot going on. And, and um, so he wants to get away and just have some time by himself and pray. It says the people came after him and said we, they want him to, of course they wanted him to stay, right? He is the medicine for the illness. And, and I, I think especially at this particular time, it's good for us to remember that he is the medicine for this illness. But um, he says, no, I can't. I can't stay with you. I've got to go to everybody. This is not meant for you by yourselves, not just for one particular group, but for everybody because everybody's equal. So it's that message of equality, I think, that we want to pay attention today. Because if we really truly believe that each of us is equal and nobody is a minority, then we have a lot of work to do because we have to change the way we think. We have to change the way we approach one another and life in general. Our country has to change. Our world has to change. This is a lot of work for, first day, for the first day, right? Um, so anyway, uh, let's pray in a special way today that we find some way in ourselves to contribute to this work of reuniting God's creation. Oh, I wanted to say this too. Yesterday was the, the World Day of Prayer for Care of Creation, September 1st, Pope Francis. And so um, I, want to think, I want to wind that theme into this too, because if we want to come together as one people, we've got to have a place to do that in. We've got to take care of the world. And we're not taking very good care of the world right now. So we include that in our prayers today too. Now let us stand for our prayers of the faithful. We pray for all our preachers and ministers in the church who plant and water the seed of God's word in our lives, that the wages due their labors may begin with the joy of seeing us respond and grow in the spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The God who fashions our hearts and knows all our works may redirect the hearts of world leaders to put aside jealousy and rivalry and to work together for the good of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord that we may imitate our Lord in his silent prayer so that our efforts may be focused and united in the accomplishment of the Father's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the sick entrusted to our prayers, especially during this time of pandemic, and for those constrained under the influence of evil, that Jesus may stand over them in the fullness of his power and cast out everything that binds and oppresses them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for the victims of Hurricane Laura. We pray for the victims of the fires in California. We pray for the victims of senseless violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who suffer from the blindness of racism, that we might become a society, witnesses of a society, where no one is considered a minority. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our dear ones who have died, and for all the holy souls in purgatory who wait patiently for the Lord, that in him they may rejoice as he leads them out into the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we now include in silence. For all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your mercy and love, we know, we are confident that you will hear our prayers and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God. be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, God. be God forever. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear, O Lord, in your mercy, the prayers of those who cry out to you. And as you receive your church's offering, grant that all may be filled with the spirit of divine sonship, so that with inequalities overcome by charity, one family of peoples may be formed in your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having been fed with the one bread by which you constantly renew the human family, we pray, O Lord, that from participation in this sacrament of unity, we may draw a love strong and pure to help peoples in their development and prompted by charity to fulfill what justice requires through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.